John Gill's exposition of the Bible text, and the priest shall see him, and, behold, if the rising be white in the skin, and it have turned the hair white, and there be quick raw flesh in the rising. Leviticus 13, 10, Commentary, Ver. 10 And the priest shall see him, look at him, and closely and narrowly inspect and examine his case. And, behold, if, the rising, be, white in the skin, this is another appearance of the leprosy, the preceding were a bright spot, and the scab of it, but this arising or white swelling in the skin, as white as pure wool, as the targum of Jonathan. And it have turned the hair white, to the whiteness of an eggshell, or the film of it, as the same targum, that is, hath turned the hair of another color, into white which was before black. And, the bee, quick raw flesh in the rising, or swelling, or the quickening or quickness of live flesh either such as we call proud flesh, which looks raw and red, or sound flesh, live flesh being opposed to that which is mortified and putrid, and so Jarki renders it by sanament, a French word for soundness, and the Septuagint version, in this and all other places where the word is used, renders it sound, this clause may be considered disjunctively, as by Gersom, or there be quick raw flesh for either the hair turning white, or quick raw flesh, one or the other, and one without the other was a sign of leprosy, so Jarki observes, even this is a sign of uncleanness, the white hair without the quick flesh, and the quick flesh without the white hair, this may seem strange though quick and sound flesh should be a sign of the leprosy and its uncleanness, though it should be observed, it is such as is in the rising or swelling, and in things spiritual. It is a bad sign when men are proud of themselves and have confidence in the flesh, when in their own opinion they are whole and sound, and need no physician, when they trust in themselves that they are righteous, and boast of and have their dependence on their own works, he appears to be in the best state and frame that cried out as David did, that there is no soundness in his flesh, Psalm 38, 3, 7.